Hi guys, today we're going to be working with metric measurement and we're going to be talking about length. So I hope you already took a look at the video that I made in measuring with centimeters um, because I actually show you how to do that and we practice measuring with that. But today we're going to be looking at some other areas of measurement with length. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you parts on your body that are going to help you. Um, so in the metric system, we have a centimeter, and the centimeter has a cm, and that is going to be the length between your index finger, that's your pointer finger, and you can kind of see it's that space in between here um, that is going to be about e equal to um, one centimeter. So it's the width of your index finger. Then we have something called a decimeter, and that's actually dm, and you'll see that that is the space that we see right across um, the bottom part of our palm. And this actually is about 10 centimeters. That's how much it is. If I were to measure this across, that would be about 10 centimeters. All right, and then when we were talking about the um, customary units of measure, we said that we had a yardstick. Well, in the metric system, they also have something, but they have a meter. So you can see that just like we learned our yardstick is two arms out, a meter stick is just a little bit longer than that. And of course, the last one that measures length is going to be a kilometer. Some people call it a kilometer. Um, a kilometer is a little bit more than half a mile. So let's take a look at some things that um, we see in every day all around us that we could measure with things. All right, first of all, I want you to take a look at a centimeter ruler. Notice at the top, we've got our centimeters up here. And notice at the bottom, we have our inches. Notice that the inches starts over here on the side and the centimeters start here. So if you need to measure something with inches, you just flip your ruler around. All right, I also want you to notice how tiny this is, okay? And again, we're talking about our index fin finger, the width between our index finger for the centimeters. Notice there are also, uh, there are about 31 or 30, a half, 30 and a half centimeters for every 12 inches. So we don't have something that is an equal amount, okay? So when you say, well, what kind of things do you measure in centimeters? If you watch the video where I measured at home, you saw that we measured a lot of small things in centimeters. And that's a good, um, that's a good size to measure things with centimeters. So things like pencils. Notice um, I've got this measured in centimeters. We have things like combs. Those are small objects measured well in centimeters. We have, uh, let's see, this is a marker, and we have some crayons. So anything that you can think of that is small, um, we could measure, that would be a good measure, unit of measurement would be centimeters. Now we can measure things that are longer, but um, centimeters are typically measured with things that are a little bit smaller. All right, again, I would just want you to see how small that is, and if you put your finger right up to the screen, it's probably just about that amount. All right, so we can also um, decide how things are, just like we measured with inches. We have to start over here on the zero, and then we're going to come right over here to the edge, and I do like to kind of mark on it because I think that helps me figure this out. I can tell that this is 12 centimeters. All right, why don't you take a look at this fork and see what you come up with. All right, notice that we start either with the zero or um, where there was no line. Uh, this happens to have a zero. Now this is a little bit tricky because the fork actually comes in between. So this is 14 and a half centimeters. Okay, it didn't quite make it to the uh, 15 centimeters. And in between each one of these, we have a half. All right, just like we had with inches, we have a half in centimeters as well. All right, measure this and check with me, check back with me. Okay, did you get right here? It should have been three and a half centimeters. All right, measure this one. Okay, you should have gotten right about 13 centimeters for that one. All right, check this one out. Okay, if you'll notice, it's right in between that two and the three, so that is going to be two and a half centimeters. All right, try this one. Okay, 
it looks as if this one is right there at 12 centimeters and that's a needle all right try the screw okay let's see if i draw my line down here it is real close to six and a half centimeters i hope you got those two all right we have a tool all right did you get 24 centimeters i hope so all right guys so we practice a little bit with centimeters. We understand that centimeters is something that we're gonna use um, to measure really small objects. Now let's talk about a decimeter. That's not something that we're real familiar with, but let's go ahead and see some things that, um, find out some information about decimeters. First of all, I mentioned to you that decimeters are the space between the bottom part of your palm, all right? And this is about um, 10 centimeters wide. Another thing to know about decimeters is um, well that they can be found um, we can say how many decimeters something is typically people just use centimeters but just to know that deci means 10 and that when we want to figure out about the size um, if you're holding a can of soda that is about um, one decimeter okay which is 10 centimeters all right the next unit of measure we had was um, a meter stick so I wanted, to, I wanted to show you that a meter stick and a yardstick are very, very close. There's just a little bit of space between them. So anything that we would measure in yardsticks, we would measure in meter sticks if we were using the metric system because they're very, very similar, all right? But a meter stick is a little bit larger. So when we put our hands out and said, this is a yardstick, I would do a little something say, and a little bit more, and that would be a meter stick. A great example of something that is 100 centimeters, that's what a meter stick is, is a guitar. And if you've ever seen anybody play a guitar, they've got like sections of it up here and sections of it down here because it's longer often than their arms are. And it's because it is a meter long. All right, some other things that are measured in meters. All right, right here we have, you know, football fields, if they can be measured in yards, and soccer fields, if they can be measured in yards, they can also be measured in meters because a meter is just a little bit bigger. All right, we can also measure tall tables or chairs or even pets in a meter. All right, the way that we measure our homes, um, we typically talk about them in feet and yards, but they can be measured in meters as well. All right, the length of a playground or the perimeter of a playground could be measured in meters. And of course, if you've ever been on a swim team, you know that they even have certain types of meters that you swim. So this can also be measured in meters. Again, something we save for larger objects or around bigger spaces. All right, the last one is a kilometer or some people will say kilometers. Um, I call them kilometers and it's a little over half a mile. This is near and dear to my heart because I like to run. And um, this is the Myrtle Beach Half Marathon. And many times when we do races, in fact, we have some girls that do some girls on the run races and they are five Ks and that's five kilometers. So when we talk about miles and kilometers, we're measuring things that take a long distance. It's length over a lot of distance, all right? But understand that kilometers are a little bit shorter than an actual mile. So if somebody runs a 5K, they didn't run five miles, all right? They ran 3.1 miles. So it's kind of um, the difference between kilometers and um, miles. All right, but the Myrtle Beach Half Marathon is actually 13.1 mile. Um, and that, that kind of gives you uh, the idea that we measure things in longer distance with miles and kilometers. Do remember that it is 100 centimeters to make a meter. And it is a thousand meters to make a kilometer. So we, also, also, uh, we often think that of a kilo is a thousand. So a kilometer is a thousand meters all right guys this was a quick one on um, the metric unit uh, on metric measurement because typically we talk about centimeters in metric 
and we talk about meters and kilometers. Um, decimeters is something you can know, but that's not something we really focus as much on. So if you can remember that a centimeter is the size of your finger, of your index finger, we have a decimeter, the width right here. We have a meter, which is 100 centimeters. And then we have a kilometer, which is a thousand meters. And that measures far distances. Until next time. Bye-bye.